Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access Arduino UN from the internet when you have an internet connection at home having dynamic IP address. We're going to use a service called DDNS. In this, rather than using an IP address to access our UN, we are going to use a domain name. And this service, which is DDNS, it will convert the name into IP address for us and it is transparent so we don't have to do anything. In the diagram here, the UN is behind the home broadband router and the router is having a dynamic public IP address which keeps on changing obviously and uh, you are somewhere uh, over the internet and you have to access your UN and also the DDNS service which we are going to use is over the web. The way it works is our UN will send an update to the DDNS server and this DDNS server will store the IP address from which the request came and it will associate our domain name with it. Now that we have to use the service what we'll do is uh, we'll use the domain name and this domain name will go to the RDNS and RDNS will send it to the DDNS and the DDNS will reply us with the public IP address which is currently uh, in use at the UN. Since this IP address is the public IP address of our router the request will be directed towards it. We'll have to further redirect the traffic towards the UN from the router. I'll explain the process in four steps. Go to noip.com and create an account. Since I have an account, I will log into it. Click on add a host. In the host name, you have to enter a unique name which is unique all over the internet with the domain name. I'm using Arduino UN as an example. From the list below, uh, there are a list of free domains. You can select any of one of these. I'm choosing noip.me. Come down and click on add host. Here you can see the domain name and the current IP address which is in use. Don't worry about the IP address. Access the UN. Uh, my UN is at 191.6800.148. Go to configure. Click on advanced configuration. Go to systems. Software. Click on update list. Now search for lucy-app-ddns, click on OK. This will download and install DDNS. Click anywhere on the page, let's say system. This will refresh the page and as you can see now there is a tab called services. This is the DDNS config page. Enable DDNS by putting a check mark here and amongst the LAN and the WAN I am choosing LAN because LAN represents Wi-Fi connectivity to the home router as compared to WAN which is the LAN connectivity. Choose noip.com from the service as we have registered with noip.com. In the hostname field put your unique name along with the free domain name you have chosen. I have chosen Arduino UN as the hostname and .noip.me as the free domain. In the username and the password field, enter the username and the password you used uh, while creating the noip.com account. You don't have to make any other changes in this page except if you want to change the interval at which the UN updates the DDNS. Uh, click on save and apply and continue. The service will be activated on the next reboot but uh, if you can't wait uh, you can enter the command mentioned in the description. I have the Ajax uh, sketch loaded onto my own. So this is the page. My router IP address is 192.168.100.10. Here is where we will do port forwarding. You can go to application and gaming. 
uh, if you have any other router other than Linksys, your router should have a similar configuration. First, we'll do port forwarding for the web port, HTTP. Enter a suitable name. Enter external port above 1024. And don't use port 8080 or port 80 as they might already be in use. Internal port will be port 80 as uh, Yuan is having a web server. Uh, 148 is the last octet of the Yuan. Similarly, configure for SSH. If you want to access the Yuan only via SSH or only via web, I think it is better to use the Yaler service because it does not require a configuration on the router. Click on save settings. As you saw, you have to enter the IP address of the UN in the page. So it is best to reserve its IP address in the DSCP setting. Right now I'm on the internet and not on my home network. So that's the reason I'm using the domain with the external port with the slash HT slash Ajax. I'll click the button and I'm hoping that the LED will go on and off at my home. So this is the web demo and we can see how SSH works. Again, I'm using the domain name and the port number will be the external port that is 18122. I'll log in with my credentials and it's working. Thanks for watching and do subscribe.